I have been true to myself from the word go. I have never, ever compromised any of my beliefs. New details in the death of singer Sinead O'Connor. Police in London say officers were called to her South London home at 11.18 a.m. yesterday morning. The coroner's office will determine the cause of death, although we're told it's not being treated as suspicious. Hi, guys. This is believed to be Sinead's last video. It was posted 17 days before her death. The singer gave fans a tour of her apartment, showing flowers she received from a friend and a new guitar. That I am going to write some tunes on. Sinead, who was 56, also mentioned the tragic death of her son, Shane, who took his own life last year. But, uh, you know, the way your kid, unfortunately, passing away, it isn't good for one's body <laughs> or soul. One day you're an ordinary, you know, basically teenager. The next day you're responsible for another human life, you know? So it's, it does change you a bit. My entire life is revolving around just not dying, and that's not living. Sinead was open about her struggles with mental health. And I don't like people thinking that I have the answer to any of their problems, since I don't even have the answer to my own. But I wouldn't be comfortable being, you know, Madonna or Michael Jackson or something where I couldn't go out. E.T. also sat down with her after she sparked global outrage, tearing up a picture of the Pope on SNL. Fight the real enemy! I am trying to fight child abuse. If it seems harsh, then I apologize, but the fact is that the truth is difficult and very painful. Last night, Pink and Brandy Carlisle paid tribute to Sinead with a cover of Nothing Compares to You. Sinead's 1990 music video now has more than 405 million views on YouTube. The song was originally written and performed by Prince. Nothing compares, no, nothing compares to you. He released his version after Sinead in 1993. It's interesting to point out that Prince's estate refused to give her the rights for the song to be used in a documentary about her life that was released last year. One possible factor, Sinead had claimed that she and Prince met up in the early 90s and it turned out to be a horrifying night. In Los Angeles, he summoned me to his house one night and um, I foolishly went alone. He tried to beat me up and I was defending myself. It was a very frightening experience. Five o'clock in the morning, we're running around in his car, I'm spitting at him and he's trying to punch me. 